Hey guys, Ivan here, and as I promised you yesterday, I was able to find some video footage of this British Grand Prix. The quality of the video is not that horrible, but it's not great. And also I will update you about Zach King Khan, but that's gonna be at the end of the video. Uh, now let's go over this video footage that we have here. So this was your top four, of course. On the right you had Milan Sadek, on the left, of course, Nathan Diasha, and in the middle you have Samson Dauda and James Hollingshead. Of course, James was third. Um, Samson Gauda was second, Nathan won the show, and Milan Sadek, or Milan Shadek, I think that's how you pronounce his name properly, took fourth at this show. So, here you can see them all, and I think it was a pretty decisive win for Nathan. I think he absolutely annihilated his competition. He looks great. And now you can see what is he lacking, uh, hamstrings. His hamstrings are really pretty much non-existent. And those hamstrings are probably the reason why he's not higher at the Mr. Olympia, alongside with his back. His glutes are very, very good glutes. <laughs> that sounds pretty gay, but it is. I mean, it's, it's a fact. His glutes are very developed and dry. He can get shredded. And his back is improved. It is better than the last time I saw him. Uh, Samson was great, but he was not at Nathan's level. Now you can see it with this high-quality footage. You can see that he was rather battling it with James than he was really with Nathan. And that's the reason why he's in the middle here. It's not because he's winning the show, of course. Uh, they just put Nathan on the side because they knew Nathan is winning it. And now they want to decide between James and Samson. I think it was closer between them, much closer than any of these guys to Nathan. Nathan is just a different level. He's an Olympian. These guys are not Olympians. They are good pros, but not Olympians. And it'll probably not be this year. I don't think so. Milan has a lot of points, so maybe he somehow climbs up, maybe somehow he manages to, to, to actually compete in the Mr. Olympia, but not very likely. Overall, it was a good show, uh, nothing <laughs> like it was in 90s, like 1999, British Grand Prix was like Ronnie Coleman, Flex Wheeler, I think Kevin Levroni, and I mean, two Hall of Famers and the greatest bodybuilder of all time compared to one Olympian, top seven Mr. Olympia competitor and couple of good pros. So, I mean, it's it's night and day, but it was a good show. It was pretty exciting, actually. It was not all that bad, and considering the fact that the uh, British Grand Prix was not a Mr. Olympic qualifier for a long time, now it just started, so it's not very popular just yet uh, at this point in time. But I'm sure it's going to become more popular with time if they keep it as a Mr. Olympia qualifier. Nathan competed at this show, but I think it was not his level of competition. I mean... He could have probably won like New York Pro. He would do great at the Arnold Classic also, for example. I mean, he wouldn't beat Brandon Curry or William Bonac. No way. Probably not even Luke Sando. I think Luke is much thicker than, 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 than uh, Nathan. But he's another level compared to these other guys. But I think he just can't travel outside of his uh, country because of his law problems. Because he's pursued by the authorities for dealing drugs. Um, not recreational drugs. But in that indictment, he was mentioned together with some people who were actually dealing recreational drugs. And Nathan is specifically for steroids. But I heard rumors that he was doing all kinds of stuff. I don't even know. I think if it was really the truth and if it was really a strong case, I don't think he would just be competing right now. Maybe it's nothing serious. But very likely the reason why he is competing in Britain and not doing any of these other pro shows that are much better and much higher quality is because he cannot leave the country. And uh, you can see him here compared to his runner-up, Samson Dauda, and I don't think it's even close. I think Nathan destroyed him, absolutely. Uh, the thing that, that I really love about Nathan's physique is that he can really get shredded. I mean, this is the 90s conditioning, pretty much. Even harder than that. He gets really, really dry. I would love to see him in person. I would be blown away, I'm sure. He's a pretty complete bodybuilder and very aesthetic, I would say. He has very good frame and uh, it just looks pleasing to the eye. If you ask me, it's nothing too much. It's not like thrown around everywhere. It's very compact physique. Yeah, his torso is a bit longer, but I don't think really I can notice that as much. If he manages somehow to pack on that back, if he actually becomes very massive in the back area, if he somehow manages to do that, and not only back, I'm talking about his whole backside, and I mean hamstrings as well, not glutes. Glutes are fine. 
he's back and he's hams. And if he does that, he can win the Mr. Olympia. But look at him here in this most muscular. Wow. He is looking just wow. He really does have that freak factor and a really good looking physique. I really like what I see and I'm looking forward to seeing him in the future. If he progresses enough, he can make some really big damage to Mr. Olympia if he doesn't go to prison, of course. And now let's talk about Zach King Khan. Everybody was mentioning him in the comment section. Everybody wanted to see what he did actually. And guys, it's so hard to find any footage, any photos actually of him from this competition. It's basically impossible. I think he's not even on social media, so he didn't post anything. I don't know if he has social media, tag him, tell me what is his Instagram, I want to check it out. But this is all I found, two photos. This is the first one, just a front relaxed pose. You can see here that he is not well conditioned. There is pretty much zero details in his legs. His legs just look watery or even fat. The same thing with his stomach, he's not sharp by any means, not by a long shot. He is just fluffy, he's somehow melted. I don't know, I don't like his physique at all, what I see right here. All that hype about his name and uh, such a huge potential, but he really failed miserably. Um, he did not do anything at this show, he took 11th place, and I think there was only 13 competitors, yeah right, 13 competitors, he was 11th, so pretty much almost dead last. In a most muscular pose here, he doesn't look that bad, I mean, he does have those genetics, those round muscle bellies, that's what set him apart during the 2008 and 2009 when everybody was talking about him because he had that roundness combined with great conditioning and muscle maturity and everything he looked super impressive but right now that's really not the case i think this is a really big fail of a comeback but that's only the first show maybe he's gonna improve in the future his legs don't really look undersized they look bigger so he improved his legs for 2015 i would say but uh, the details are not there, the conditioning is nowhere near where it should be compared to these other guys, I mean, compared him to these other guys, look at them. Um, he almost took last place, so only beat two guys from this whole lineup, and uh, pretty much failed, failed comeback, I have to say so. Um, if you think he did not fail, if you think this is impressive physique, say it in the comment section below, please, be my guest, whatever it is you think, tell me in the comment section below, I really like to read your comments, and I really want to see some engagement, so do that. And if you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you want to see more content like this, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.